Installing a Caseta by Lutron Claro smart switch is easy and takes as little as 15 minutes. First, turn the power off at the breaker. Double check to make sure the power is off. In most situations, you only need a screwdriver and a pair of pliers to do the job. Before removing the old switch, you will want to make sure you have a neutral connection in the wall. These are usually white wires in the back of the box. The Caseta by Lutron Claro smart switch will require a connection into this neutral wire to operate. If you have two switches that control this light, you should have three wires plus a ground connected to your old switch. Take a piece of electrical tape and tag the wire connected to the different colored screw of the existing switch. This is typically a black wire. Then remove your existing switch. Connect the ground wire, typically a bare copper wire, to the green wire on the switch and connect the tagged wire to the red wire on your new switch. Then connect the remaining two wires individually to the black wire and the blue wire on the switch. Make a note of the color wire that you connect to the blue wire in this location. We will need to identify this wire in the second location. In this example, we're choosing the red wire to connect to the blue. Connect the neutral wires, then mount the control and move to the second location. We will now take you through both options for the second location, starting with the existing switch. Take a piece of electrical tape and tag the common wire. As a reminder, this is the wire connected to the different colored screw. Then remove the tagged wire from the switch. Identify the wire that is the same color as what we attach to the blue wire in the first location. Leave this wire connected and remove the remaining wire from the switch. Connect the two removed wires together with the yellow jumper wire. Connect the other end of the yellow jumper wire to the black screw on the existing switch. Mount the control, install your wall plate, and turn the power back on at the breaker. Check that the switch turns the lights on and off. If you're using an accessory switch in the other location, take a piece of electrical tape and tag the common wire. As a reminder, this is the wire connected to the different colored screw. Then remove the switch. Connect the ground wire, typically a bare copper wire, to the green wire. Attach the tagged wire to the black wire on the accessory. Identify the same color wire you attached to the blue wire in the first location and connect it to the blue wire on the accessory. Connect the remaining wire to the red wire and mount the switch back into the wall. Install your wall plate and turn the power back on at the breaker. Check that the switch turns the lights on and off. If you have a four-way location, you should have four wires coming out from the wall. Remove the old switch. First, connect the ground wire, typically a bare copper wire, to the green wire, and identify two wires that are the same color of the wire you attach to the blue wire in the other location. Attach both of these wires to the blue wire on the accessory switch. Now, attach the remaining two wires each to the black and to the red wire. It will not matter which wire attaches to black and which one attaches to red. Install your wall plate and turn the power back on at the breaker. Check that the switch turns the lights on and off. And that's it! For FAQs and helpful hints, visit casetawireless.com.